Raju? Yes, sir. Vika, we have a task today. We have to fix this iron and deliver it to the customer tomorrow. Okay? The customer was saying that it is tearing clothes. Let me have a look at the sole because it is usually the sole that is the culprit. Hmm. There are few rough touches. And you know why it happens? Because of excessive heat. Here, have a look. Friends, you have a look at us fixing this electric iron. I will also show you how to troubleshoot and inspect other parts of the electric iron. Welcome to this session on troubleshooting and repairing of electric iron. After completing this session, you will be able to troubleshoot an electric iron, repair an electric iron. Let us keep our tools and equipment ready for troubleshooting and fixing. Neon tester Multimeter Screwdriver Some wiring cables Wire stripper Plier Switch Test lamp Friends, never forget your personal protective equipments like your, what are these? Huh? Gloves and your rubber shoes even while troubleshooting and repairing of equipments. Friends, there could be several reasons for the electric iron not functioning properly. Let us first have a look at the circuit diagram and understand how an electric iron works. The supply from the switch passes to the heating coil through the thermostat. The neutral wire connection completes the circuit when the switch is on. The parts that can possibly go wrong in an electric iron will be the supply points the outlet power socket and the plug and the cord on the iron. Then the thermostat which consists of the thermostat unit and the control knob for the thermostat settings. And next there is the heating element and finally the sole plate of the iron. Let us now see the procedure to inspect them one by one. And yes, Remember the personal protective equipment before you start work on any live wires. There are two supply points. The plug cord of the iron and the other one on the outlet plug socket. Raju has already checked the output power supply at the customer's place and he found it to be ok. So, there is a problem in the iron. Let us see how to inspect the plug and the plug cord of the iron for any defects or faults. Step 1. Check for any visual damages in the cord and plug. In this case, you can see the cord is broken and has open insulations, so we need to replace the cord. Step 2. Replace the plug cord. Locate the screw fastening the cord unit of the iron. Using a screwdriver, open the cord unit of the iron. Remove the cord unit cover. Can you see these terminals? They are supply points on the cord terminals. The red is the phase terminal. The green is for earthing and the black for neutral. Using a screwdriver, disconnect the cord terminals of the cord from the iron unit. Step 3. Connect the test lamp in series. First, 
Let us see how to connect the test lamp in series. Take the test lamp and a cut piece of wire. Insert phase terminal of test lamp into phase terminal of a 3 pin socket. Next, insert one end of cut wire into neutral terminal of 3 pin socket. Switch on the socket switch. The test lamp is connected to the power supply. Test the series connection by touching the free end of the cut wire and the phase terminal end of the test lamp. The test lamp glows, so the series connection is OK. Step 4. Check the plug cord using the test lamp connected in series. Check the cord. You need to check both the phase and the neutral of the plug and the cord ends one by one. Place the phase terminal of the test lamp on the phase terminal of the plug cord. Place the free end of the cut wire on the phase terminal of the plug. Check if the lamp glows. Well, the lamp glows in this case. So the phase terminal is OK. But we need to check the neutral also. Place the neutral terminal of the test lamp on the neutral terminal of the plug cord. Place the free end of the cut wire on the neutral terminal of the plug. Did you notice the lamp does not glow in this case? So the plug cord is faulty and we need to replace the cord. If the test lamp glows for both checks, the phase and the neutral, then the plug cord is OK. If the test lamp does not glow for either of the checks, the phase or the neutral, then the plug cord is faulty. Replace the plug cord of the iron. Step 5. Replace the plug cord of the iron. Take the new plug cord. Connect the phase terminal of the cord to the phase terminal of the iron. Using a screwdriver, tighten the connections. Next, connect the earthing terminal of the cord to the earthing terminal of the iron. Using a screwdriver, tighten the connection. Finally, connect the neutral terminal of the cord to the neutral terminal of the iron. Place the cord in sockets and position it properly. Close the plug cord unit of the iron. Using a screwdriver, fasten the cover with the screw. The plug cord is replaced. Let us see the procedure to inspect the thermostat of the iron. The thermostat checking includes the thermostat knob and the thermostat unit itself. First, let us check the thermostat knob. For this, we need to open the iron box. So let us see the procedure to open the iron box. Step 1. Remove the plug cord out. Open the plug cord unit. Carefully remove the plug cord wire connections. Step 2. Using the screwdriver, gently push the handle notch and remove the handle. Step 3. Using a screwdriver, unscrew the screw and remove the top cover with the thermostat knob. Locate the screws to open the top cover. You can refer to the manufacturer's instruction manual if required. In this case, the first screw is under the handle.
Step 4. Locate the screws fastening the base with the top cover of the iron box. Using a screwdriver, remove the screws. Step 5. Lift the top cover of the iron box. Step 6. Carefully disconnect the lead wire connections to the thermostat from the top side of the cover. Remove the lead wire connection and keep it aside carefully. Step 7. Remove the base cover and keep it aside. Step 8. Locate the thermostat unit. This is the thermostat and on here is the knob for setting the heat. The thermostat faults can be of two kinds. Thermostat setting may be incorrect or Thermostat unit itself may be defective. Both the defects can be checked using a multimeter or a test lamp. Let us first check the thermostat settings. Connect the test lamp in series with the thermostat. Place the phase end of the test lamp on the phase terminal of the thermostat. Place the cut wire end of the series test lamp connection on the neutral terminal of thermostat. Step 9. Rotate the thermostat knob and check the settings. In this case, the test lamp glows, so the settings are OK. If the test lamp does not glow, then the settings are incorrect. Reset the settings by rotating the thermostat knob until the lamp glows and then set the thermostat. Now let us see how to check the thermostat unit using a multimeter. Step 10. Using a multimeter, check for continuity. Carefully remove the wire connections on the thermostat. Set the multimeter dial to resistance. Place the red positive probe of the multimeter on the phase terminal of thermostat. Place the black negative probe of multimeter on the neutral terminal of thermostat. Check the reading. In case the multimeter shows a reading greater than 1, then the thermostat is OK. If the multimeter shows a reading 0 ohms or infinite, then the thermostat is defective. Replace the defective thermostat. You can also check the thermostat using a test lamp. Connect the test lamp in series with the thermostat. Place the phase end of the test lamp on the phase terminal of the thermostat. Place the series connection cut wire free end on the neutral end of thermostat. If the test lamp glows, the thermostat is OK. And if the test lamp does not glow, the thermostat is defective. So replace the thermostat. Look at this chart here. It sums up the thermostat inspection. Friends, let us see the procedure to inspect the heating element of the iron. We already have the open iron box unit here. So let us locate the heating element and start our check. There can be mainly two faults in the heating element. Heating element is defective. Broken lead in the iron. Step 1. 
locate the heating element in the ion unit. Step 2. Using a multimeter, check for continuity. Set the multimeter dial to resistance. Place the red positive probe of the multimeter on the phase terminal of heating element. Place the black negative probe of multimeter on the negative terminal of heating element. Check the reading on the multimeter. In this case, the multimeter shows a reading, so the heating element is OK. If the reading is 0 ohms or infinite, the heating element is defective. Replace the defective heating element. Step 3. Check the heating element using a test lamp connected in series. Connect the test lamp in series with the heating element. Place the phase end of the test lamp on the phase terminal of the heating element. Place the series connection cut wire free end on the neutral end of the heating element. In this case, the test lamp glows, so the heating element is OK. And if the test lamp does not glow, the heating element is defective. So replace the heating element. There could be broken lead in the iron and the supply does not reach the heating element. Let us see how to inspect this. Step 4. Check the lead connections visually. If lead connections of heating element is broken or if the terminal welding is broken, in that case, replace the defective lead in the iron. So friends, that was all about checking and testing the heating element of an iron. Here is a quick recap of heating element inspection. The sole plate is the smooth base of the iron which heats up and ions are clothed. Let us see some common complaints about a faulty iron that are related to a sole plate. Two main problems related to faulty sole plate are iron tearing clothes or iron is giving electric shock. The iron can tear clothes due to rough spots or blisters on the sole plate. The electric shocks are due to circuit breakdown inside the iron and because of that the current leaks to the outer body of the iron. This is due to earthing wire fault. Let us see how to test and rectify each. First iron tearing clothes. Unplug the cord from the outlet on the switchboard. Gently rub the surface of the sole plate with fine emery paper. You can also buff polish the sole plate area to give a smooth surface. In case the sole plate damage is beyond repair, replace the sole plate. Now let us see how to check the current leak. Unplug the cord from the outlet on the switchboard. To check the current leak, connect the test lamp in series with the iron body. Place the phase terminal of the test lamp on the earthing terminal of cord plug. Place the free end of the cut wire in series connection on the steel sole plate of the iron. Check for current leakage. In case the test lamp does not glow, then there is no current leakage. In case the test lamp glows, there is a problem of earthing in the iron. Open the cord unit and check the earthing terminal of cord. Tighten the wire if it is loose. Repair or replace the wire if found damaged. So that was the troubleshoot and repair for iron tearing clothes and iron giving electric shocks. Take a look. Thank you. Friends, the cord wire was defective. We have replaced it. Friends, why don't you have a look at the troubleshoot guide and understand the problems an electric iron can encounter, their causes 
and the parts that needs to be inspected.